Hi everybody, Al Padulo here with Explore Immersive Studios, and I'm here today with Elliot Graves from Alchemy Immersive Studios in London. We're doing kind of a remote Zoom broadcast here interview. Elliot, how are you, my friend? Yeah, I'm doing well, thanks, Al. How are you? Very good. Keeping busy. In fact, in a uh, get done with this interview in another hour or so, I'll be teaching a class for uh, future media concepts in post-production world on VR 180 of all things. Yeah, well, it's good. That's hopefully they're having the next generation learn how we do what we do. That's what we're hoping for, definitely. Elliot, why don't you fill in everybody about you and your company? Sure. So my name's Elliot. I'm the creative and technical lead for Alchemy Immersive. Uh, Alchemy is based uh, here in London, and we tend to create uh, immersive content for educational enriched experiences, uh, cultural institutions, um, healthcare brands, and, and lots of other people. Um, we're part of a wider group of companies um, that comes under Atlantic Productions. So Atlantic Productions was founded about 28 years ago. It's kind of uh, gone on to win multiple BAFTAs and Emmys for factual content, including and, and relating to this 11 series with David Attenborough. So uh, we are a group of companies that have a passion for telling factual content, uh, sometimes related to science or natural history in this case, um, and hopefully trying to push the boundary of what's possible with immersive technology to uh, inspire future generations and and really immerse people in worlds that they can't access through any other medium. That's fantastic. And before we go any further, I do want to thank you once again for letting me be a part of Micro Monsters. However small a part I played in it, I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, no, of course. We, we needed your help, and um, thanks a lot for helping us. My pleasure, my pleasure. So where did the inspiration come from for Micro Monsters? Yeah, so Micro Monsters originally was a, a television series in 2016 um, with David Attenborough looking at the micro world of bugs. And in the past kind of uh, 12 months, 18 months at Alchemy, we were using a lot of mixed reality and augmented reality and trying to develop completely new ways of telling stories. And what we found was with distribution and, and hardware adoption, especially of higher end devices like Magic Leap, that there wasn't the, the market that we needed to commercialize the content and, and ultimately share it with as many people as possible. So that took us back a little bit to VR and we got wind of the development of the new Quest headset. Um, at the time it was codenamed Delmar and we Luckily, had a great uh, working relationship with with Facebook at that point, basic of of previous um, experiences and work that we'd done with them, um, and on reviewing our back catalogue of content, mainly uh, a, a whole series of three D high resolution content that was shot for Sky. Um, for the launch of 3D TVs, if, if you remember that. Um, we realized we, ha we had this huge uh, pool of, of content which was, was not being used anymore. It was sat in our archive. And so we put our heads together and tried to understand if there was a way that we could bring a non-native a non immersive media into VR and give people the opportunity to see content that had such high production value and, and ultimately cost a huge amount to produce um, in VR. Um, so that took us uh, down a couple of R&D test routes, looking at how we could adapt rectilinear content for VR. Um, we had to look at new post-production methods, and we actually uh, looked at putting you know, physical um, 3D structures around people's heads and in the headset and so on. Um, but when we saw the initial test results that came out, um, once we had the, the high resolution raw material, the the effect on people when they saw it was was unreal. People who, uh, within our organization, had maybe moved on from VR and were looking at more, uh, you know, commercial efforts like AR apps, for example, were suddenly converted and said, "This is just like nothing I've ever seen before." And so we need to we need to make this. Um, so that's kind of where it came from, and, and obviously we were really excited that Oculus uh, partnered with us for this for this project and, and enabled us to bring it to people's. Um, VR headsets for free via Oculus TV. It's amazing. And so why exactly did you choose VR 180 over 360? 
Sure. So I think with the the way the industry is moving at the moment, everyone is pushing towards interactivity. There is this huge excitement about Unreal Engine and the use of of Unity to create six off experiences, which I think is is rightful. And and I have, you know, a huge excitement about where this is going. However, I felt that um, the, there was a lack of content, perhaps, for people just to experience, sit back, watch, and and be wowed. So. Because the the rectilinear content itself was uh, was already created, the idea of going into a three hundred and sixty environment where you'd have to look around yourself, uh, look behind yourself, um, was was obviously intimidating from us from from a production point of view. But frankly, it just wasn't needed. The, the content itself was so strong and often had a center framed object that was really powerful that we we thought it wasn't necessary to actually expand beyond the one hundred and eighty horizon. Um, because people often don't look there, I think, in, in a headset. And the content, because it's 3D, had so much depth and just grabbed your attention um, that having a kind of IMAX Plus or an IMAX 2.0 type experience was enough for us in the headset, mainly because we were relying on really great storytelling. Um, we had really powerful narratives that, that carried users through and directed them on where to look. Um, and so we felt that was enough. And, and I think most people who've experienced Micro Monsters, the series on via Oculus TV, don't even tend to comment about the difference between 360 and 180. It's just the fact that they're drawn into an experience and, and you know, is, is almost unforgettable. Well, you're definitely preaching to the choir here because I, I really love VR 180. I think it's a wonderful medium. I think there's place uh, where 360 is, is right, but you're definitely, I agree with you that, uh, you know, for this project, uh, you know, why would you want to look anywhere else? Yeah, everything is right in front of you. It's perfect. 